channel and today we're going to talk about the Nyamwezi chiefdom. The previous lesson we talked about the Uganda kingdom, one of the earliest kingdoms in traditional African society under the strand of political systems and governance. Today we're talking about the strand of Nyamwezi chiefdom, one of the earliest chiefs domes in Africa, particularly Eastern Africa, that is in Tanzania. So, the Nyamwezi people are one of the Bantu speakers in Tanzania, and we know Bantu migrated from Congo forest. So they settled in central part of Tanzania. The Nyamwezi people, they live in many dependent groups, which were ruled by chiefs, and the name given to these chiefs were chief Ntei, that's the title. Ntei was the title of the chief. So they lived in many different groups and this chiefdom was divided into smaller units called Bungulis. So the leader of the Bungulis was Nyunguli. The name Nyamwezi means people of the moon. So the Nyamwezi people, when they were migrating, they came from the western direction of the moon. The capital of the Ntemi was Urango. So, the main economic activity of the Bantu in general we know is crop cultivation. So the main economic activity of the Nyamwezi people was crop cultivation. They also engaged themselves in long distance trade with the Arabs who had already arrived at the coast of Tanzania. The position of the Nyamwezi chief was hereditary. This means the chief could choose son from the family. Ntemi was assisted by five officials and these are Mugane, who was the ritual officer, Mtuale, the army officer, Mteko, assistant army officer, Kikoma, the information officer, Minule, the tax collector, as well as we had the Council of Elders who assisted Ntemi in ruling, and the name given the Council of Elders was Wanyamfala. The Ntemi was chosen by a leading man called Mugabe, and who must come from the mother's side. So the Ntemi must come from the mother's side and was chosen by a leading man in that village known as Mugabe. Then he was also assisted by religious officials called Wanikulu and uh, Wanikulu was headed by Mugabe who was a ritual officer, was like a priest in that chiefdom. The famous chiefs among the Nyamwezi that we know were the Mirambo who was the chief of Urambo and Nyungu Yamawe the chief of Okimbo. We also had the Masari soldiers. These are the soldiers who help the, the maintaining law and order in the chiefdom who was known as Ruga Ruga. Zemi had functions in that chiefdom. He was the commander in chief of the armed forces. He administered the chiefdom. This means he was the head of the government. He made judgment on the cases of murder, so he was also a judicial leader. He controlled trade between the Arabs and his people. He also encouraged people to work hard to feed their families. As well as we saw the function of Kabaka being an administrative leader, judicial leader, religious leader, and military leader. So their functions were well incorporated. This means their functions were similar. Thank you for listening and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.